sir, it's car wash time. Gotta get this thing clean. I want to be the first to say happy new year's welcome to the new year but if you're watching let's go we got a couple more hours to the new year i got my first order though check this out man this is how you want to start off your day right here i got a catering order outback steakhouse check this out it popped up at 650 five items 3.3 miles but you got to know your market because outback is where i get most of my catering orders from and it's not because they catering orders because of the dollar amount so you want to make sure you know your market extremely well look at these people they look crazy as hell but look i got this catering order I'm about to get this money. So uh, when you take a picture of your catering bag for the first time with your dash, you don't have to take it for each additional time after. I'm hoping to get a whole bunch of catering orders tonight because it is a holiday, it's New Year's Eve. So I know it is, I mean, the restaurant is absolutely packed right now and it ain't number four o'clock. So we're gonna see if they got this one ready. Hopefully they do, but if they don't, it's all good because let's see, this is a, uh, this is, it's over a hundred. Oh, actually it's a, exactly a hundred dollars in, Food. So we're gonna that sound good. Hopefully this is ready. We're gonna see what we get on this one. Let me know in the comments below how much you think the tip on this one is. Hold on, man. Come on, man. How much you think the tip on this is a hundred dollars even in food? Our back steakhouse, five items, three miles. It's really short distance, so I'm gonna be right back to this mug. And that's what you want to do. Post up at your spot where you get them. Okay, first order of the night, catering order, and it was ready when I got here. Matter of fact, that ain't even the best part. They brung it right out to the car. See, some somewhere, some places they do that, some places they don't. I got chilies in my market, they bring it out to the car. Outback Steakhouse, they bring it out to the car. And sometimes, like if the drive-through places is closed and they got uh, the, the places where you go through the drive-through and the lobby be closed, sometimes they will bring it out to you. But for them to bring a catering order out and for it to be ready and for it to be the first order of the day, come on now, you can't lag. That's that's a triple whammy. You can't ask for nothing better than that. Let's go ahead and get this done. Moment the truth right here. So let me know in the comments down below what you think this catering order gonna turn out to be. $100 in food, handed it right to the customer. All right, $21.15, I'll take it. $18.65 on the tip for that one. $7.50, 4.4 miles, two items, Little Caesars. Not a bad offer, but know your market. I don't wanna go there. Next order is gonna be $9.75 for 7.2 miles, but it's 11 items and it's coming from a restaurant that I like going to. We're gonna go ahead and accept that one. The drop off is actually in a fairly decent. So like the drop, I ain't gonna say it's decent. The drop off is a little out of the way, but it's coming back to a row. So it's gonna bring me back over this way. So I'm cool with that drop off. This is only my second order right here. And I don't know if it's gonna show me, but I'm gonna go ahead and check now and see if I can see the total on this one. It up. $97 in food, so I'm cool with that. Even if it's just like the last one, uh, a $10 tip or a $15 tip, I'm cool with that. Let's get it done. The pickup, go ahead and check in. And let them know we heard to pick up this order. It may not be ready, but when it comes to catering orders, I don't be tripping because it may take them a little minute to get the food ready. No rush. It's gonna be a good tip on this one, so why rush them, right? Let's go ahead and get it. it order dropped off. What was that? Some Lao Szechuan, some Chinese food. Got it dropped off. I did hand it to the customer. Let's see if this one changes. I got that one done in 20 minutes, so not bad uh, total delivery time on that one. Okay, $11, I'll take that. It went up by $1.50, nice. So, let's see, look, and as you can see right there, look, this one brought me outside of my zone a little bit, but that's okay because that roll right there gonna bring me all the way back, and that's just like a three minute drive back. And I might even get something that pulled me back. 50 cents, Buffalo Wild Wings, a double stack. And eight items, 5.6 miles. So that's a good miles to money ratio for me. No peak pay. Let's go ahead and accept that one. I'm actually right here, Buffalo Wild Wings, right over there. So we hear that's perfect. It might not be ready though since I'm so close though, but for $20, two orders, I, I, I like that. Cause even if it take me the full hour, which I'm praying, to, oh, I'm praying that it don't, that would still be okay because both of those orders have a potential for a hidden tip. So let's go ahead and get these done. This would be my third and fourth order of after being out for an hour and a half, nice. So on order number three and four, stack each order. So no, okay, my first order, don't even remember how much it showed me, but first order ended up being 20 bucks. Second order showed nine bucks, ended up turning into 11. And now this is my third slash fourth order. And this one is showing me a $20 bill. So if it's a hidden tip potential on both of these orders, it probably can a chance to go up to $30. The mileage was only five on there. So that's that's a big indicator of how much more your tip can go up. Now, this is a spot that I picked up from a lot so like i said in my previous video 
if you if you get offers from one of your spots that DoorDash knows you go to a lot, they more likely to send you the full tip amount. And especially if it's one of your regular cuts too that, give you, that has given you a good rating and it's, and it's a merchant without declining as much merchants, they more likely to show. So we heard that. We have Buffalo Wild Wings. So I get up in there, right? I check in. I say, you know, I'm picking up two orders. Got one for this person, one for that person. Tell me why. And this is this ain't never happened on, on two orders like this. Tell me why both of them things was ready. Check it out. Look at that. Two big bags, too. Like, usually, on a normal day, I pick up itty-bitty bags when I'm picking up buffalo. They be having good tips on them, but they be itty-bitty small bags. I just picked up two big swole bags. Both of them was ready. Stop playing with me, bro. I'm about to get things delivered so fast. I'm the fast dash live, man. Come on. First bag dropped off. Only was two minutes away. 8.50. All right, let's get to the next. All righty, we got the... All righty, we got the second part of that order dropped off. This one says $12. Let's see if it changes. Hopefully, it do. I got it done in less than an hour, so it's all good either way. But a little bit extra never hurt nobody what we get no no it did it went up by one dollar it's 13 so i can't be mad it went up Ooh, my map crazy what the heck is going on ten dollars and 75 cents for 7.2 miles but that's really 9.75 because they just snuck in a dollar peak pay but you know what it's all good that one is taking me over to the area where i could, just came from so this is a dash along the way so i'll accept it we got our pizza dropped off 10.75 what was shown and 13.50 is what we get ten dollar tip on that one guys and giving me a chance to stop look at that 22 dollars and 25 cents 10 items eight miles let's go ahead and get that done i'll take it looks like we checking into fazoli's first hopefully they got this order ready Alrighty, we one for two. Fazoli's had that order ready to go, man. Let's get it. If things keep going like this tonight, I may be able to get four or five more good orders done. I really hope so, because uh, that's my little goal. Like for today, my goal was just to come out, see if I can make a hundred bucks real quick, and go back home. Like it's New Year's. I ain't trying to be out here super, super late. I know people gonna be out here partying. They are gonna be doing sobriety checks. I'm gonna make my little hundred bucks and hit the crib. Yes, sir. So we got that Fazoli's dropped off. Let's go ahead and see how much that Fazoli's pays. Nine dollars is what's showing. I did hand it to the customer, so let's go ahead and see. Op stayed nine dollars. Well, that's okay. But thirteen twenty-five is what's showing on the other part. So let's go ahead and get it delivered. Alrighty, we got that. It's just wings dropped off. Handed it to the customer. Let's see a thirteen twenty-five change. Nope, nope, it did. It went up a quarter. Ha! <laughs> DoorDash hit a quarter. No worries. It is all good. Let's see. We are sitting at nine eighty-nine dollars and sixty-five cents. Not bad. Let's see if we can get another catering order. Yes, sir. We right back at Outback Steakhouse. Look. Just got an offer, eight dollars, two miles. Man, I, I, I'm fishing for catering orders, but you know what? I said eight dollars, two miles. If it was anywhere else, I'd have been like, no, nah, but it's Outback. And those two miles keeping me right here close to Outback. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. I can come right back and come back to Outback, post up, pull in, back there, and let's go. Outback Steakhouse is point tonight, boy. That's the second order they didn't have ready for me. I'm just like, let's get it. Hold on, before I pull off, let me go ahead, hit confirm on that. At the hotel, which is right next to some more restaurants. So not only is it leaving me in my zone, but it's dropping me off in a prime position to where I may get a fire order right after that. That Outback dropped off. $8 what was shown. See if we get an increase. Nope, no increase on that. Next order, this one came in at $12.75. 13 items, 10 miles. But if you take a look at this screenshot here, 13 items of sushi, that's definitely a catering order. So I had to go ahead. This one probably not gonna be ready. It got a deliver time of 8.36. So that lets me know right there they probably not gonna have it ready, but check I didn't know I already made 100 bucks already. And I ain't even been out that long. So this order right here is just icing on the cake. $100 was my goal. If I get any other catering orders, I'll do those too. Today's comment of the day goes out to Rhonda Tart 1908. Rhonda says, I hate when I deliver to a non-tipper and they say thank you so much. Oh, uh, I just wanna say something, but I don't. Well, you know what, Rhonda? It is all good, because guess what? I do this for you. I know it's a lot of dashers out there that have orders and they be wanting to say something so bad but they you know what i ain't even gonna say nothing well you know what don't worry let me know what to tell the next nine and i got you just because you ain't able to tell them yourself i'm gonna tell them for you got that catering order dropped off let's see if 12.75 change twenty dollars and 44 cent nice i like i like our eight fifth four items look like we heading back to outback Let's get it. All righty. Got that Outback Steakhouse dropped off. I don't even remember what this one showed. I think it said 8.50 or nine. I'm not sure. Let's see what it turns into. Nine bucks. It's got the Pizza Hut order. Now this is for real gonna be my last order tonight. 11.50, 11.7 miles. And as I speak, 
They sending me an add on. What's this? An additional dollars? Hell no, I ain't going to no Little Caesars. Little Caesars is probably packed right about now. So yes, I'm making this one the last one of the day, of the night, and then we gonna add up all the totals and see what we got. Well, somebody took it. <laughs> all righty, last order of the night. Got it dropped off. 11.50 what was shown. 11.50 is what we get. Damn, that's a ridiculously high base pay. $2 peak pay, but I'm still finna end it. We made 138.59 and we did it in a total of five hours. Not bad. 138.59 in five hours. I'll do that any day of the week. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.